All right, Shalom Israel, Shalom. First and foremost, call Layim La, our Banawa, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechachradash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akim out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And Shalom to the Aqua sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Okay, I'm your brother, Amoth, your eyes from Yahweh. Okay, back out here again on the highways and the byways as you can see to bring forth another powerful, beautiful lesson through the power and spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So, um, uh, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and get the opening scriptures and we're going to talk about the, today's lesson. So let's go ahead and let's eat. Let's eat. All right, this is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no accounts of his labors. And that's right, man. And you're seeing the righteous man stand in great boldness right now, man, which is the true, sincere, hopeful elect, man, out here doing the work day and night, man, every single day, feeding you with lessons, man, and out here telling these cave gorillas and these other heathens, man, their judgments, man, for all the, for all the, uh, the, the, uh, atrocities they have done to Israel, you know, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai's chosen people, his, uh, his, uh, his, his, uh, 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 his nation, man, his inheritance, and, uh, uh, their, their judgments, man, you know, and, uh, this cave gorilla Esau Edom has made no accounts of our labors, man, because every nation has gotten rich off the, uh, off the blood, sweat, and tears, man, of our backs, man, you know, every nation has gotten rich off of Israel, man, off of us being in captivity, man. Every nation has uh, received benefits from us being in captivity, man, okay? And every nation has to pay. But the main nation that's not going to receive no mercy is Esau Eden, the so-called white man, okay? But we, we, are, but we are boldly standing as lions, man, letting it be known, man, that the prophets are back. We know who we are. That breath of life has been blown into us through the power and spirit of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Okay, and now we're we making it known, man. We're standing firmly, ten toes down on the pavement, as they say, for Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. All right, so let's keep on going. All right, this is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. And we endure all this, man. Everything under the sun is vanity, man, especially with this goddamn red dragon and um, rulership, man. This man's destroying the earth, man. You got whales beaching themselves just to get out the ocean because the ocean's so polluted, man. You know, you got birds falling down from the heavens, man. You know, all types of stuff that's happening upon the earth right now, man. You know? Point blank period, man. Because this man is, is not fit to rule, man. He's not fit to rule the whole earth, man. And he's damn sure not fit to rule his own self, man. You know? Point blank period, man. But we endure everything, man, as, as the soldiers of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh by Yahweh Shai, man. All the vexation, man. Every time you when you wake up, man, and you go out go out here into the world, man, you're bound to see uh, wickedness, abominations, all that, man. And everything is vexing, man, from day to day. Everything, man. Not just this and that. Everything, man. Everything is vexing, man. You know, she, uh, so like, he, um, He's putting all putting all these uh, unrighteous decrees together and everything else, man. It's just it's just complete madness, man. Complete madness, man. Point blank, period, man. But let's keep on going. And we enduring all that, man. He's wearing he's wearing us out, man. Cause out the soles of our feet have no rest, man. All right, this is Psalms 94, verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? And that's right, man. <coughs> and right now, <coughs> Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai got his servants out here uh, speaking his words, man. You know, proclaiming his judgments to these heathens and to you red dragons, man. 
So he got his servants out here being the forerunners, warning Israel, warning his own people, telling the two-thirds they judgment, and telling the one-third to come back to him, man. You know? And he also got, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, Salakia. He also got his prophets out here telling uh, uh, all these nations uh, of the things to come, man. Salakia. <clears throat> Salaki Israel, forgive me. Uh, my son hit me up. I had to text him back real quick. All right. Um, <clears throat> let's read that again. <clears throat> Salaki. <clears throat> Psalms 94. <clears throat> Salaki. <clears throat> Psalms 94, verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers, or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Now, like I said, man, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai got uh, the prophets out here being the forerunners, man, proclaiming the judgments and the things. Uh, uh, to come and prophet only means uh, uh, to foretell uh, uh, certain uh, prophecies that's going to be fulfilled, you know, roughly paraphrasing. But who the uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to send uh, our king, our beloved brother, man, our Messiah Yahweh Shah to put in the work, man. Okay, so we just out here warning the people, warning Israel, telling the two thirds day judgments, telling the one third to come back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you know, telling these heathens, man, they got a, a huge recompense coming for them, man. You know, point blank period, man. Nobody, nobody gets away with their iniquities, man. Nobody, man. It's a lot. Baba Gushaw, Salakia. All right, this is Job 21, verse 31. Who shall declare his way to his face? And who shall repay him what he have done? Who shall declare his way to his face? And like I said, man, you seeing the, the true, sincere, hopeful elect, men out here putting in this work day and night, every day, man. You wake up to a meal. You go, you go to sleep hungry. Okay, and that's only through the power and spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And who is Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai giving 144% truth to according to the doctrine? Uh, GMS, man. Okay, y'all don't like it. Oh, man, GMS seem like they the only camp. They pompous, they proud, they this, they that. So let me ask you this, man. Did Yahweh Shai have the 144% truth? Did Isaiah have the 144% truth? Did Baruch have the 144% truth? Okay, did Solomon, who was Yahweh Shai, have the 144% truth? Did Ezekiel, Jeremiah, Moses, the list goes on, man. Everybody had the truth, man. So who the hell are you to say that we don't have it, man? The Most High is not going to divide it up to each uh, camp. No, that's nonsense, man. That's that's complete madness, man. Okay? Everybody has a lot, man. And Adawan Rataza, uh, 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 GMS, we we hope to be those men that had that 144% truth, man. Because we, we defend the doctrine, man. Who shall, de who shall declare his way to his face? And like I said, man, the, the, the men of the Lord out here declaring, the, uh, declaring everything to these heathens and these red dragons' face, man, boldly, standing as lions doing this, man. Okay? And as a matter of fact, this is our passion. This is our first love. We, man, look, man, this, this puts a smile on our face to do this, man. This is the only thing that cheers us up in this wicked-ass kingdom, man. Salakia, queendom. This is the only thing that cheers us up, man. Okay, everything else is vanity and vexation, man. Okay? You can't, you, you can't, you, as soon as you turn the TV and want to see a damn TV commercial, it's, vex, it's, it's vexing you, man. You know? This place, man, this place has to go, man. All, the, all these all these jakes running around being Tootsie Pops, man, 
Come on, man. And who shall repay him what he have done? Yahweh by Hashem, like, like I said, man, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah is going to send Yahweh Shah to, to, to bring forth that judgment, man. Okay, so we just hastening and being patient for that day to come, man. For this sky to be over overwhelmed with chariots and that big mothership that Yahweh Shah is going to be on to bring judgment on this place, man. Okay, well, humbly, patiently, and hastening the day of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, man. Okay? And we pray, we pray and we hope. And we keep in the faith that we endure to the end and that we get to see the judgment that he's going to bring upon our enemies. <clears throat> Salaki. All right, so um, today's lesson is going to be about we're not black, man. Okay, that's two social constructs that was created by Esau Edom, the so-called white man, to, to, to uh, establish control. Okay, because he, 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 uh, he changed everything once he got into rulership. He gave everybody... A, a nationality that he wanted to give them and he did that to hide himself okay so um i got a um an article that i pulled out yesterday that i got so i'm gonna read this article to, just to make the point um that the, that that term white was established right here in virginia in 1681 okay it was it was um, uh, manifested into law okay into their law which their law doesn't mean shit okay and uh, then we're going to look up the um, look at the definitions for white and black, which I always do, but we're going to do it for edification's sake. Okay, so uh, it's a lot. All right, so um, let me read this. I got this from, uh, I forgot where I got it from, like news, uh, medium, medium.com, I think, medium.com. But it says right here, the Virginian legislated a new class of people in existence, the whites. They gave the whites certain rights and took other rights from, from blacks. <laughs> White as a language of race appears in Virginia around the 1680s and seems to first appear in Virginia law in 1691. And thus, whiteness and to a degree as well, blackness was born in the mind of America. Okay, so it was, it was uh, first brought into fashion in the 1680s. But it says right here, and it, and it seems to first appear in Virginia law in 1691. Okay, so I'm gonna jump down right here. And it says, as the 18th century, whites could not be permanently enslaved as they sometimes had been before, which is bullshit. Okay, because those um that's, that's probably going back to the um to the Irish. And most of those Irish were Israelites. Okay, um it says right here, and black slaves could never work their way to freedom, which is true. And black slaves could never work their way to freedom. Uh the whites were told. The whites were told this that so like it, the whites <laughs> listen to this listen to this nonsense. The whites were told this was because the most high had made the blacks inferior to the whites. <laughs> oh my god, man. Nobody's black. Nobody's black and nobody's white, man. We are brown a uh, flesh people, man. It says the, the whites were told this was because the Most High had made the blacks inferior to the whites, just as the whites inferior to the superior classes that owned property. <laughs> this is complete madness, man. Let's, let's read that again, man. The Virginia legislated a new class of people into existence, the whites. They gave the whites certain rights and took other rights from blacks. Okay, but the so-called black race had no rights from the beginning of slavery, we had no rights, none. Okay, uh, and look and and took other rights from blacks. White as a language of race appears in Virginia around the 1680s, and seems the first in pure Virginia law in 1691. And thus, whiteness and to a degree as well, blackness was born in the mind of America. Okay, so let's look up. 
let's look up the definition of black and the definition of white. Because like I just said, nobody is white and nobody is black. People are different shades of brown and the so-called white people are different shades of pink and red. So let's look this up, just for edification's sake. This, this is the reason why they made these terms up. Let's look up black first. Let's look up black first. Okay, this is black. My God, I think I got a nigga woman down there that she won't listen. All right, the uh, definition for black. All right, the definition for black. Let me get to it. Give me one second. All right, the definition for black. All right, the definition for black. Uh, sinister. No, uh, it says um, old-fashioned, literally, thoroughly sinister or evil, wicked. Okay, so this is why they call you black because they, they see you as thoroughly sinister or evil, wicked. Now let's look up the term for white. Oh, right, this is white. 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 Give me one second. Okay, it says having the color of having the color of new snow or milk. Okay, clear, transparent. Let me get to this main the main definition that they use it for. Hold on. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Here's it right here. Free from spot or blemish, such as free from mortal impurity, innocent. <laughs> Purity. Free from free from spot or blemish, such as free from moral moral impurity, innocent. So now you see why they call you black and they call themselves white, because they want to be labeled as innocent, pure. And there's nothing pure about the, the damn devil, man. Okay, nothing whatsoever. Salaki. So Okay, so let's go ahead and get to this lesson, man. Get into this lesson. All right, this is Deuteronomy. All right, this is Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh thy power, to observe to do all his commandments, and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee okay so obviously we didn't follow the law statutes and the commandments that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh gave us so we're under curses okay so let's see let's matter of fact let's see let's let's get one of the curses man in uh, Jeremiah real quick let's jump to Jeremiah something that he did that he said he was going to do to us in the book of Jeremiah all right this is Jeremiah chapter 17 Verse 4, and thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever. So our, our nationality, our, our heritage was taken away from us by Yahweh Ba Shim Yahweh Shah. Okay? He put us under the curses because we were being disobedient. Okay, and that's how they got, that's how these, these uh, bywords came about, man. Okay, because like I said, nobody is black. We're different shades of brown. And nobody is white. You are different shades of red and pink. Okay, when a newborn baby 
a newborn uh, Edomite baby, which is a so-called uh, uh, so called white race, when that baby comes out, that baby is blood red, man. Okay, because their blood shows forth through their skin. When they get mad, they get red. When they get upset, they get red. When they get smacked in the face, they get red. When they're working out, they get red. Okay? Let's keep on going. Let's jump back to Deuteronomy real quick, because the Most High told us, man. He told us this from the beginning, man, that he was going to he was gonna make this, um, put these curses upon us. Okay, so this is Deuteronomy 28, verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whether Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, shall lead thee. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whether Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, shall lead thee. So a byword, as in black. Another byword as an Afro-American. Another byword as an African-American. Another byword as an ADOS. African descend descendants of slaves. Okay, when nobody's African, that, 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 that term African came from Leo Scipio Africanus. And the term America came from Americo Vespucia. Okay, that's two so-called white men. Okay, so nobody's African. So those so-called Africans in the land of Ham are Hamites. Okay, two different people. Okay, we are two different people. We are not the same people. Okay, the, the Hamites, which are so-called Africans, descend from Ham. The so-called Negroes, uh, are, which are uh, uh, the so-called Negroes, so-called Hispanic, and so-called Native and Seminole Indians, we descend from Shem. Okay, and the nation, the, 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 our, forefather, so like our forefather Shem has eight nations that descend from Shem. Okay, you got the so-called Japanese, so-called Moab, so like so-called uh, Chinese, uh, which I, I believe Korean, uh, Korean is on them too, um, uh, so-called Arabs, and like I said, Israel, the Negroes, uh, Latinos, Native and Sino Indians, so-called white people, uh, Syrians, and uh, uh, there's two more I can't think of right now, but it's eight, it's eight, uh, um, eight sh uh, Shemitic nations. Salakia. And this is what's been happening for Salakia. This is what's been happening for a long time. Uh, this is Deuteronomy 28, verse 28. Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. And that's right, man. Madness. To believe, to keep on believing these lies. Madness because you don't know who you are. Okay? Because you're going to your oppressor for everything. Okay? You, 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 everybody else knows their heritage where they came from, you know, etc. But the so-called Negro, so-called Hispanic, so-called Native and Seminole Indian doesn't have a clue of their, uh, of, their, um, of their lineage, their pedigree, where they come from, what land they come from, what, what, what actually, what, what they, where their roots go back to, okay? Because of the curses and being put in slavery and having this red dragon over everybody, man. Because he's put a veil over everything, man. Like I said, he's changing. Every, he's changed everybody's nationality to hide his own. Okay, because if everybody knew he was Esau Edom, then everybody would raise up against him, man. You know, point blank period. So like it. All right, let's drop down the um, same chapter, Deut Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight. Let's drop down the. Um, Let's drop down to verse 48. Deuteronomy 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee. And that's right, man. So we were the only people that had yokes of iron on our neck, man. And for you simpletons to say, to say the so called so-called uh, Hispanics and the so-called uh, Native and Seminole Indians are not Israelites. It's total blasphemy because they were the first ones to go into captivity before the Southern Kingdom. Okay? So that yoke of iron was put on our neck and now they, they've taken that yoke of iron off our neck because we are destroyed, man. Our nation is completely destroyed, man. We are the only people that want to save this red beast, man. Okay? And, and it says right here, in the want of all things, and that's, that means everything, clothes, food, 
a, a shelter, education. So you got your damn enemy telling you who you are. Okay, that's just like, that's just like me taking a whole nation over. I'm not gonna tell that nation who they are. I'm not gonna reveal who they are. I'm gonna keep everything a secret. I'm gonna destroy that nation more and more, okay? So you got our people depending on, as, as that term, say what is that term? If it ain't white, it ain't right. If the, if the so-called white man didn't say that I don't believe it, that, that our people had that mind state. Okay, they, they trust this, this cave gorilla and everything that he says and everything that he does, man. You know, they trust him, you know? So you got this cave gorilla telling our people who we are, where we came from, yada, 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 and all this other stuff, and our people believe the nonsense, man. And that furthermore shows you the power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? Because we are not from Africa. Okay? We, we, fled, we fled to different lands, and Africa happened to be one of them. We fled to Europe, Scotland, all that. We fled to different lands, Asia, all that. To, to flee from Roman persecution in 70 AD. Okay? Point blank period, man. And some of our forefathers, you know, set up in uh, the west, the west, the west coast of Africa, man, which they called they called it Negro Land. Okay, but let's keep on going. Let's jump to Daniel real quick. All right, this is Daniel chapter nine, verse eleven. Yea, all Israel have transgressed by Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law, even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore the curse is poured upon us, and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of the Most High, because we because we have sinned against them. That's right, man. So the Heavenly Father confirmed all his words that he said he was gonna do upon us, man. He put the curses on us, got us, got us serving our enemies. We were, we're called by words. Our heritage and our nationality was taken away from us. Okay, our people are destroyed. Everything that he said he, he was going to do to us, he, he's doing. Okay, and everything that he said he's going to do in the latter end to bring us back to him, he is also doing. And everything that he's going to do to two-thirds of Israel for judgment, he's also doing too. And everything that he's going to do to these heathens that done these things to us, he's also going to do. Okay, so nobody is exempt or can ex escape from judgment. Okay, period, man. Not, e not even his own people, man. All right, so let's jump to Job. Because these people, these people, you know, that uh, Esau Edom is very pompous, very proud, because he thinks that he did all this on his own. But the earth was given into his hands. All right, this is Job 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked, he covereth the faces of the judges thereof, if not, where and who is he? Okay, so the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Okay, which is uh, Esau Edom, the so-called white man. So let's clarify who the wicked is real quick. Just for edification's sake. All right, this is Malachi chapter 1, starting off at verse 2. I have loved you, saith Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith Yahweh? Yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau, and laid his mountain and his heritage waste for the dragon of the for the dragons of the wilderness. Wherefore, Edom saith, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, They shall build, but I will throw down. They shall build, but I will throw down and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai have, have indignation forever. Okay, so these people are called the wicked, man. And the Most High hates. Yes, the Most High hates. The Most High is balance. Okay, because you got everybody saying, oh man, uh, the Lord loves everybody. The Lord is love, blah, blah, blah. No, the Lord is, is righteous, okay? So it says right here, Job chapter 9, verse 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. So the Most High gave the earth into the hands of the wicked, okay? Esau, Edom didn't take this place over on his own will. The Most High, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, gave uh, the earth over to the wicked. Okay, let's read on. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof, 
If not, where and who is he? So he covered the faces of the judges, which is the, uh, the uh, you know, the prophets, the, the, the heavenly father, the son, and the angels. He made everybody look white. Okay, when the scriptures clearly state that the prophets and the angels and the heavenly father and the son are, are dark flesh people. So let's go to 1 Maccabees real quick. Because they've been doing this since, since the old times, man. Trying to put their face up as, uh, as uh, the father and the son, the angel and the prophets. All right, so this is uh, uh, 1 Maccabees. This is 1 Maccabees chapter 3. 1 Maccabees chapter 3, verse 48. And laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. And laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. That's right, man. So everything is, is so-called whitewashed. If you, if you uh, look up Im images back in like uh, before the 1400s, if you literally look up images before the 1400s, you'll see that, they, that, that the prophets, the angels, the Messiah were a uh, 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 dark flesh people, okay? And now it's to the point that that, that, that that has been revealed and you ask him about this, say, oh man, it doesn't matter what the Lord looks like. He's any color. But the scriptures say different. And then they'll say, oh, he's Middle Eastern. Okay, but the so-called people that you had in slavery came from the so-called Middle East. Okay? The so-called people you had in slavery are not from Africa. Okay? That's the land of Ham. Okay? Uh, uh, what is that? Cush. Uh, uh, um, Mizraim. Put, Canaan, those are the Hamite nations. Okay, the so-called Negroes are Shemite. Okay, from the land of Israel. All right, let's keep on reading. Let's go to uh, let's go to Saint John. I'm glad you're leaving. I'm glad you're leaving. Thank you. She don't like hearing that. See, this is a nigga woman right here. Let's see. Her. Yeah, I see it right there walking. She ain't like hearing hear me talking about her white daddy. She's like, this nigga's lost his mind. And you know, most of our people don't like hear that, to, hear, to hear us talk about their white daddy. They don't like that. They don't like the truth. To, to find out you're the greatest people on the planet. She probably African. She might be ham. But she ain't got no flavor whatsoever. None. So I... No flavor whatsoever. All right, let's keep on going. We still got we still got more to bring out. Uh, let's go to John, John ten and ten. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to and to kill and to destroy. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. And that's right, man. So Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, has only come to steal, kill, and destroy, man. That's their M.O. That's their um, purpose on the earth, man, is to steal, kill, and destroy, man. They are the masters of that, man. They are the first murderers of the earth, man, which goes back to Cain, man. Okay, reincarnation. They started, we was able, they were Cain. Okay, so these, these, these uh, 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 red dragons have been uh, uh, killing us from the beginning, man, you know? So this is, the, this is their purpose, man. Steal, kill, and destroy. And our purpose is... Let's read it. This is our purpose right here. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly, man. Because you, you got the prophets out here speaking these words of life. Right here. These, word, these are the words of life right here. These scriptures. Okay, so you got the prophets out here speaking these words of life to our people, man. You know, only one third of our people is going to hear these words, man. You know, everybody's not going to hear these words, man. Point blank period, man. Because Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai is not going to save everybody, man. Two-thirds of our people, which is a very, very big number, is going to receive judgment, man. 
Okay, a lot of our people are going to receive judgment, man. Point blank, period, man. Okay, so he he this this devil has destroyed our people, man. He he's literally well at the end of the day, it's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, but Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is it has worked through this devil so much to make this happen. Okay, if you understand what I'm saying, I hope I'm not losing you, but um. Our people literally think they're everything else, everything else under the sun, but who they actually are, which is an Israelite, a Hebrew Israelite from one of the, tw one of the 12 tribes. You know, I, you got our people thinking they're Hispanic, which Hispanic means property of Spain. You got our people thinking they're Jamaican, which Jamaican means wood and stone. You got our people thinking they're Puerto Rican, which means rich port. Okay, and like I said, African American is, so is two so-called white, uh, white people, man. Uh, uh, a native and Seminole Indian, which means savage. When the, when the damn people that conquered this land are the real damn savages, man. These are bywords, man, that have been placed on our people for confusion, man. Okay, these words have no uh, 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 no um significant uh, 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 significant um weight weight with them, man. The only thing that comes with these uh these bywords are deceits and lies, man. But our people don't don't want to research nothing. Our people don't care to investigate these uh, uh, these uh, uh, um, things that, that have been taught and told to them for generations, man. Okay, this, the, the, the train the the, slack here, the the sand is very true. If you want to hide anything from a nigga, put it in a book. Very true, man. Because our people won't read to save shit, man. Won't read to save their life, slack here. Cause this devil, man, this devil right here, he truly thinks. And as a matter of fact, this gives you the uh, this, the example right here. Cause he conquered this land. He conquered this land, Babylon, the daughter of Babylon, and, and called it America. Named it after his one of his people. So let's read that, man. Uh, this is Psalms 49, verse 11. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever, and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names, and that's right, man. So Babylon the Great, the daughter of the, the, the daughter of Babylon right here, is called America. It was, that's named after America Vespucia, Africa, which they conquered, uh, like the land of Ham, which they conquered, America, uh, uh, Leo Scipio Africanus, and Asia. They conquered, they, con man, like they, they conquered Asia too, man. Asia's uh, named after a so-called white man. Okay, everywhere they go where they conquer, they name that place after their own people, man. Okay, and they literally think in their wicked heart, which is their mind, that their rulership is going to continue forever. Man, when Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah made these cave gorillas, these red dragons, man, he made them perfectly evil, man. Perfectly evil, man. Okay? Perfectly. Okay? Point blank period, man. But well, let's keep on going, man. Let's jump to Psalms 55. Because what they did, man, they came here to this land, uh, 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 a Azareth, Azariah, if I'm saying it right, if I'm not Salakia, but they came to this land where no, where no man dwelt but um, the tribes, the ten tribes dwelt in this land. They came to this land, made a peace treaty, you know, and, and uh, our people, which is, uh, our people are humble, man. Our people are very sincere, very compassionate. So they came here and Gad, you know, basically let them come and, and live here and, you know, civilize them, show them how to live, show them how to survive here and all that. Which they should have basically, you know, booted them off of the land, man, and just basically started slicing and dicing them. But you know, like I, like I said, our people are compassionate, we're caring, we're loving. Okay, that's just it's, that's just in our nature. So, th but this is what happened. This is uh, Psalms 55. Psalms 55, starting off at verse 20. He have put forth his hand against such as be at peace with him. So when they came here, God was at peace with them, man. How? And look at look what that house shit got you, Gat. Okay? Because you was over here going off, man, worshiping uh eagles and bears and shit. Besides not worshiping Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shah, smoking weed, all types of shit. But Gat was at peace with them, man. And it says right here, Psalms 55, verse 20. He hath put forth his hand against such as, as be at peace with him. That's right, man. So he put his hand against, he deceived Gat. Gave Gad, you know, uh, fire water as they called it, which was um, hardcore liquor, probably moonshine. Okay, got Gad drunk. And then as soon as Gad got drunk, started killing up Gad. Waited for the, um, the men to go off to go hunting. Went to the villages, ravaged the woman, snatched up the woman, destroyed the villages. All, and it killed the buffalo. All types of things, man. We can go on and on. 
Okay, reading on. He have broken his he has broke he have broken his covenant. He have broken his covenant. Let's read that again. He have put forth his hand, he have put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. He have broken his covenant. And that's right, man. This cave gorilla has has not kept no no peace treaty, no uh covenant with any nation that he has signed with, man. He may see he may, he may make it seem like He's at peace with a lot of people, and he uh, is going to keep some type of an agreement. But in the, la in the latter end, he shows forth his true colors. Okay, in the latter end, he shows forth who he is. Fuck you looking at, bitch. See, when, when, you, when, you, when you're talking about the devil, when the devil's walking the past, there must be the spirit that they know that you're talking about. Him. Look at this damn. Anyway, like I said, man, the devil does not keep any covenants with anybody, man. Nobody, nobody like that key like that key sweat song. Nobody, baby, nobody. Okay, he doesn't know how he he only knows how to be wicked, man. How to be evil, deceitful. Okay, that's it. All right, verse twenty-one, because this 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 is him right here. This this ascribes him to a T. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. And that that um. The Spaniard, uh, Christopher, Christopher Cablone, whatever the fuck his real name is, that Bama said, I, I, I never, I never put my sword down. But this damn devil, man, this his tongue is always smooth as butter, man. Okay, he's very deceitful with his tongue, man. Okay, very deceitful with his tongue. Like everything he's taught our people, man, like all these bywords were being called black. You have our people holding on to black. I'm black. And then, then, then turn around and say, and then turn around and say their skin is brown. Man, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is is cruel, man. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is thorough. Okay, man. Call hello, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai by Shimra Kakradash, man. If you don't believe, I don't know what to tell you, man. Maybe the Most High just wanted to show you, man. Cause man, he's man. Look, man. 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 For water, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. For water, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. For water, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah by Hashem Rakakradash, man. Real talk, man. The east is this way. That's why I'm looking this way. Real talk. For water, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. For water, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. For water, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. I was dead, man. Before I came into, before I came back to my, my, before you brought me back to my heritage, I was dead, man. I, man, I fear and I tremble at your name, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. <sighs> Let's keep on going, man. Because we are not white, man. Let's get some more facts, man. How this devil was able to put these terms on us and have our people destroyed, man. Okay? Because we are, there, nobody's, so like, nobody, we are not black. I said we are not white. We are not black. And nobody's white. So let's get this, man. Let's keep on going. We still got more. It's a lot. All right, this is Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 2. Thus saith Yahweh power, because the enemy have said against you, Ah, even the ancient high places are in, even the ancient high places are are ours in possession and that's right man so this cave gorilla made a, a, a decree in 1948 and gave all land to the uh to the um to the head tribe of esau amalek the so-called jewish nation okay and anything with ish on it just basically means pertaining to to be like that does not make them authentic in the original people man okay at a certain point in history they were literally saying, "Now we're, curved, we're, we're um, convert. We, we converted to uh, to, the, to, to this to this uh, heritage. We converted to it. You can't convert to somebody else's heritage. You have to be born an Israelite. But after a certain point, they started to say, "Oh no, we are the people. We are the people of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, which was a lie. So let's jump down because they, they they got our land in possession, and they parted. Matter of fact, before we get that, let's jump here real quick. Let's establish that." This was a, a, a prophecy that was going to be uh, 
Now, this, this was a prophecy that was told to us before it even happened. All right, this is Lamentation chapter 5, verse 2. Our inheritance, which is the land of, uh, the land of Israel, our inheritance is turned to strangers, our houses to aliens, man. So the, the, our home, our land, our homeland has strangers in it, aliens. Okay, and that's the, why do you think the land won't give forth no fruit? Why do you think the Israelis have to bring forth trees and other things to that land? Okay, and that also goes back to um, Canaan's curse, because they are the spirit of Cain, man. So that also goes back to his curse. Where, where, where you, let's read it. Let's go ahead and read it. Let's go ahead and read it. Let's let the Bible speak. Let's go ahead and read it. All right, this is uh, Genesis chapter 4. I'm going to get straight to the point. Genesis chapter 4, verse 12. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shall thou be in the earth. And that's right, man. So this man can't plant anything in the ground and get no uh, results. Okay, why do you think they make GMO foods? Okay, why do you think there's so much GMO stuff floating around on the earth? Especially here in the Babylon the Great. Okay, uh, uh, uh. and these people are, are fugitive. They're vagabonds. They never keep their foot at home. Their home is, is, is back in a... They, they, uh, the Most High did give them a plot of land, which is Mount Seir. But their second home is the Caucasus Mountains of Russia. Okay, their first, their first home that, that, that Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh gave them was Mount Seir. And when, uh, this, when Babylon is destroyed, Mount Seir will be given to my tribe, Judah. Okay, Salakia. So we're gonna we're gonna possess your um your your your, your land Esau, okay Yahweh, which means Yahweh Yahweh thank 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 you Yahweh thanks Yahweh, we're gonna possess your land, okay the tribe of Yahweh, the head tribe, okay and um like I was saying so they have our land, and it was foretold in the future. So why do you think all this GMO is going on? And they have to bring trees and other stuff to the land of Israel to, to, to have it flourish, man. Because this, this, these people are vagabonds, man. They're fugitive. They haven't been judged for nothing that they've done under the sun. Nothing. Okay, but their judgment is at hand. And who's going to judge them? Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah. So let's keep on going. Hope it looks like it's about to rain. Hope it, man, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, let me finish my lesson. Don't let it rain while I'm out here. Baba Gusha, Baba Gusha, Baba Gusha. Yaha Ba Shim Yaha Sha, Yaha Ba Shim Yaha Sha, Yaha Ba Shim Yaha Sha. Baba Gusha, Baba Gusha, Baba Gusha. Let me finish, Father. Let me finish. All right, so let's jump to Zechariah. Let's, 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 let's establish that more because there's more scriptures that says our land is going to be inhabited by devils, man. So in order for them to do this, man, they had to, you know, bring up these false narratives to keep furthering on their, furthering on their lives. They had to put the, the term black on us, African-American, and say that we were from the land of Ham, which is complete lies, man. We are, man, look, man, even, even the damn Hamites know we're different people. And if you have any common sense, if you look at a damn Hamite and look at a so-called Negro, you can tell that, that we, we are different, man. Matter of fact, let me get to it. All right, this is Exodus chapter 11, verse 7. But against any of the children of Israel shall not, a, shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast, that ye, that ye, that means everybody, that ye may know how Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, doof, put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel, man. Okay, and the Egyptians, uh, Mizraim, I want to say, uh, 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 our, Ham our Hamite nation, okay? So there's a difference between the nation of Ham and the nation of Israel. Point blank period, man. Okay, so let's jump back to Zechariah chapter 9. Let's get, the, let's get the, another count. Zechariah chapter 9. And a bastard shall dwell in Asdod, and I will cut off the pride of the Philistines because the Philistines are over in our land too. You know, they got a portion of our land too. Okay, everybody wants to be in our land to claim to be us. But the real people that are, that are not in that land, 
which is you so-called Negroes, you so-called Hispanics, and you so-called Native and Central Indians, which are the true biblical Israelites, you know, being called by words, we're not black, you're, you're, not, you're not a savage, you're not property of Spain, you're not two so-called white men, uh, uh, Judah. Okay, we are Hebrew Israelites out of the, out of the one one out of out of uh, one of these twelve tribes. Okay, point blank period. So let's get more accounts because we're gonna we're gonna get all the accounts, man. Let's jump to uh, second address real quick. Let's jump to second address real quick and get an account out of there. Cause like I said, man, this was this was foretold before it even happened, man. That somebody else was gonna have be in our land, calling um calling themselves us. And our land was going to be parted amongst these heathens, man. All right, this is Second Second Esther's, Salaki, <laughs> Salaki, Second Edris, Second Edris, chapter ten, starting off at verse twenty-two, ending at twenty-three. All 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 psaltery is laid on the ground. Our song is put to silence. Our rejoicing is at an end. The light of our candlestick is put out. The ark of our covenant is spoiled. Our holy things are defiled. The name that is called upon us is almost profane. That's right, man. So the name that was called upon us was, was, was our true name. The Hebrew Israelites, the children of Israel, has been has been purged from us, man. Okay, and, and first it started off, everything is, is controlled by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai at the end of the day. Okay, so Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai took our nationality from us. And, and put in and, and put in the mind of Esau Edom to rename us, to, to put these bywords upon us. Black, Negro, nigger, okay, uh, 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 African American, Hispanic, Puerto Rican, Latino, uh, uh, Cuban. All, all types of you know blasphemies, man. Okay. Our children are put to shame, our priests are burnt, our Levites are gone into captivity. Our virgins are defiled and our wives ravished. And that's right, man. Because when this cave gorilla got his hands on us, man, he was raping our women, raping our little boys. Because Esau is the most vile, profane person on the earth, man. Okay? That, um, that most stuff started with the Hamites. And then Esau adopted it and just ran with it. Okay? He adopted that, that most stuff from the Hamite nation. And just flew with it, man. Made it worse. Look at America now. Look, look at look at Babylon now, man. Look at this shit, man. You got a damn a damn transformer. That's that's the uh, that's the head of health. That's the head of the board of health, Salakia. That's basically telling you that when your kid turns three, he can become the opposite uh, gender. Or if your if your if your child before they hit puberty, whatever age it may be, that they can start taking hormones to change their hormones to the opposite gender, man. Hey, man, this place has to fucking go, man. Period, man. This place has to go, man. Our Levites are gone into captivity. Our virgins are defiled, and our wives are and our wives ravaged. Our righteous men carried away. Our little ones destroyed. Our young men are brought in bondage, and our strong men are become weak. And that's right, man. And that that a prime example of the strongest the strongest Israelites becoming weak is when they would literally tie tie the man up, lay him on his belly. Tie, tie his arms up, his legs up, and buck rape him, and butt rape him. They call that buck buck raping or something like that. Uh, I, I might be, I might get the term wrong. If, uh, if a brother know the term, they can put it down. Uh, buck, buck or something. But they would, they would basically rape the man to show everybody, his family, and everybody on the plantation that even the strongest Israelite doesn't have power over the master. Okay, and they were doing that left and right. Left and right, man, and that, that's another example to show you how how much a how much of a mo this damn uh, uh, Edomite is, man. How how wicked and how treacherous he is, man. And that's another reason, another 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 reason why they're not going to receive no mercy or no uh, 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 or no uh, compassion from Yahweh Shem Yahweh man. Okay, verse twenty-three. This, this is the point right here. And which is the greatest of all, the zeal of Zion. That's the land, okay? And which is the greatest of all, the zeal of Zion, have not lost her honor, for she is delivered into the hands of them that hate us. And that's right, so who, who hates us the most? 
Esau Edom, the so-called white man. And who has our land? Esau Edom. The damn devil. There's one more I want to read. It's like it. Let's jump back to Ezekiel 36 real quick. Let's get that. Ezekiel 36. All right, this is Ezekiel 36, verse 5. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh power, surely in the fire of my jealousy, I have spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all Idumia. Okay, Idumia, just a Greek way for saying Edom. Which have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of all their heart, with the despiteful minds to cast it out for a prey, man. Because this cave monkey, this, this silverback beast, this red, thin-lipped beast has our land right now in, in division, man. It's over there calling them us, man, saying that, saying that they're us, man. This is the, the, the damn devil, man. It's some nerd, man. Some damn nerd the devil got, man. Because this is what they think, man. Let's jump over to uh, Ezekiel 35 and let's read this. Let's read from verses 11 to 13 because this is what they think. Ezekiel 35 starting off at verse 11. Therefore, as I live, saith Yahweh power, I will even do according to thine anger and according to thine envy, which thou hast used out of thy hatred against them. And I will make myself known among them when I have judged thee. And the Most High is going to do that, man. As a matter of fact, it's already being manifested right now, man. Because he has, he has the prophets out here speaking his words, telling you, telling you your judgments, man. Verse 12, and thou shalt know that I am Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and that I have heard all the blasphemies which thou hast spoken against the mountains of Israel, saying they are laid desolate, they are given us to consume. Because they, they believe this, man. They believe that our father, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, is not with us, that he's not uh, going to um, redeem us, revenge us. They believe that Yahweh Baal Shem Yahweh Shai has given us over to these cave gorillas just to consume us. They believe that in their heart. Verse 13, thus with your mouth ye have boasted against me. Because when you speak against the children of Israel, you speak against Albanawa Yahweh Baal Shem Yahweh Shai. Point blank period, man. Thus with your mouth ye have boasted against me, and ye have multiplied your words against me. I have heard them. Point blank period, man. Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shah hears everything. He sees everything. He knows everything. He created everything, both sides, evil and good. Okay? Let's keep on going, man. Cause this this devil, man, this devil was a. Uh, you know what's like? I think I might have skipped over one. Yeah, I, I skipped over one real quick. Let's go to uh, Baruch real quick. Let's read it uh, cause like I said, man, it was foretold in the uh in the scriptures about this happening to us, man. All right, this is Baruch chapter four. It's like it. This is Baruch chapter four, verse 35. For fire, for fire shall come upon her from the everlasting, long to endure, and she shall be inhabited of devils for a great time. And those devils are Esau Edom. Okay, so Esau Edom is, is it, uh, inhabited our land, man. Okay, point blank period. Esau Edom is on our damn land raining a little bit so let's jump to revelation 20 real quick because this all this this is what this devil's been doing since he's been let out of prison since he's since he was in the caucus mountains of uh russia after he came out this was his, this was his purpose all right this is revelation chapter 20 let's read verse 3 and then we're going to drop down to verses 7 to 8 we're going to read verse 3 and then we're going to drop down to verses 7 to 8. Revelation chapter 20, we're going to read verse 3. And cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and set a seal upon him, that he should deceive the nations no more, till the thousand years should be fulfilled, and after that he must be loose a little season. Okay, so we push these devils into the carcass mountains of Russia for a thousand years. So the Most High basically dumbed them down to a beast-like a beast-like state. They were walking on all fours, howling at the moon, talking about, ooh, 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 saying, hey, how you doing? Goodbye. You know, 
just all types of wickedness, man. They were um, eat, eat, eating their own kids, eating their neighbor's kids. And that's when the, um, the dog, that's when they um, started making that dog, uh, that dog they, um, they best friend. The dog would be the, um, um, the guard of the house to make sure none of the neighbors came in and snatched up their kids to eat them. And then, um, you know, the, 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 the Caucasus Mountains of uh, Russia were high. So that's how they got that, uh, that, um, that love for, for, for towers and stuff to live up high. That's where that came from. Because they would carve those, uh, carve holes out of the rocks for their windows and shit, you know? So they, the, the Most High dumbed them down to a beast-like state. Okay, so let's read, let's jump down to verses 7 to 8. Revelation chapter 7, verse 8. And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them to battle, to gather them together to battle the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. So who, who is as the number, who, who is as the sand of the sea? Who is as the sand of the sea? Who is that, Israel? Y'all should know. Let's let the scripture talk. Hosea chapter 1 verse 10 yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea which cannot be measured nor numbered it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them ye are not my people there it shall be said unto them ye are the sons of the living power Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai and that's being fulfilled right now Okay, that, that is literally being fulfilled right now. Okay, because in this place, Babylon the Great, we're said that we're, it's said to us that we're Gentiles, we're nobodies, we're nothing, we're spittle. But we come to find out that we're, we, are, we are the children of Israel. We are the, the, the sons and daughters of Yahweh Ba'a Shem, Yahweh Shai. And we are the saint of the sea. So this devil has been at battle with us from the beginning, man. Why do you think he had to put that term black? on us and put white on him I already, I already read you the definitions in the beginning of the video go back and watch it if you missed it I already read you the definitions in the beginning of the video of, of black and white okay and I also read you the information when white was established right here in Virginia where I'm at right here in, in, in fucking Virginia this I hate this fucking place man I hate Babylon period man but man, you, you know you know how they got that saying, if you can survive in New York, you can survive anywhere, man, that's bullshit. If you can if you can survive in Virginia, you can survive everywhere anywhere. Okay? Cause this right here where I'm where, where I'm at, the county that I'm in, this is the very last place that release uh, uh, that um release slaves. The county of Virginia that I'm in right now, which is part of the DMV, this is the very last place that released slaves. Look it up. You no, know, it was Texas. No, it was Mississippi. No, no, it was right here in Virginia, right here where I'm at. Okay, these motherfuckers out here are very, 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 very pompous and proud. Very pompous and proud. Okay. Very pompous and proud. Let's keep on going. It's a lot. It's, it's, it's nothing, it's nothing to see a Maserati, the brand new, up to date this year, the BMW, Mercedes, uh, uh, Corvette, any type of, any type of uh, foreign car you can think of. It's, 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 it's nothing to see that in, in Virginia. It's nothing. It's like going to California and Hollywood, seeing it there. You see that, you see that here too. It's nothing. I see Maseratis, uh, uh, Maybachs, all that, uh, 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 Bentleys, all that, all the time. It's nothing. Okay, because people here in Virginia, D.C. and all that have those cars. It's nothing to see those, man. All right, because this this is what this is what the Most High this this is what the Most High is doing and has done. Okay, this is Isaiah chapter 25, verse 7, and he and he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people. And the veil that is spread over all nations. So Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shah has, has snatched that veil out of Esau's hand. He snatched that veil over every nation. Now you're not, you're not no damn Chinese. This is who you are. Now you ain't no nigga. You ain't no Negro. This is who you are. You know? Now you ain't no damn Japanese. This is who you are. Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shah has, has uncovered all those veils, man. And, and put the spirit 
on the hope for the elect, the, the men of the Lord, and furthermore, start off with our, uh, with our elder apostles on down to, to give us this information, man, to edify our people and to let these heathen nations know who the hell they are. Okay? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Call Law, call Law, but now Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Okay, and you got you got chops over there. She don't come over here no more ever, ever since I've been coming over here. She, she used to walk over here. Now she over there. I don't know if y'all can see her walking her dogs. Y'all see it right there walking her dog? Right there. Right there with my thumb at, right there. Yeah. I think she Northern Kingdom. She don't come over here no more. Ever since I started coming over here, she she came over here a couple of times. I probably probably say about three times. But now she don't come over here at all. <laughs> she don't come over here at all. All right, but let's keep on going, man. So like I said, man, the Most High has uncovered that um that um that covering from every nation. Now we know who every nation is according to the scriptures, and we can break it down with the scriptures. Okay? Cuz uh Ammon and Moab are incest babies. Okay, if you study to show yourself approved, you know that um, um, Lot's, Lot's children got him drunk, you know, roughly paraphrasing. I'm not going to go to the scriptures. You can go to Genesis, Genesis and read yourself. But Lot's kids, his, his, uh, his daughters, got him drunk and laid with them and got pregnant. That's how, that's how um, Ammon and Moab came about. So they're, they're incest babies. That's why they got that that uh, chinky look in their eyes and shit. All right, but let's keep on going. Let's jump to Daniel, cause this is what this devil did, man. Cause he had, he had, he has rulership. The Most High Yahweh Shem Yahshai gave him power to do to, to, to do these things, man. Okay, cause the only the only power that's in control is Yahweh Shem Yahshai. That's it. He's the only one in control. All right, so this is Daniel chapter seven, verse twenty-five. And he shall speak great words against the Most High, like we read in Ezekiel, chapter 35, verses 11 to 13. He's been speaking great words against Yahweh, Shem Yahweh and against his children, the children of Israel. And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints. Hey, look, man, we wore the hell out, man. We are tired. We exalt. We are exhausted. We are tired of being tired, man. We are worn out, man. You know, Jake got to have two or three jobs just to pay bills and survive, to eat, to put clothes on his back. If he got kids, to put clothes on his kids' back, to take care, to take care of his kids. Pay, paying health insurance to, to go to the doctors to be able to, to live correctly. You know? All types of madness, man. We, man. we worn out, man. We are literally worn out, man. These bodies, these bodies are, 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 are corrupted that we're in, man. We are, we are gods. We are angels, gods, and, and corruptible bodies, man. And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws. And he did that. He changed times, laws, the, the names of nations, etc. This, 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 this fucking dragon changed everything. He changed everything. Okay, they changed everything, man. Times, laws, etc. They changed everything, man. Everything. Not just times and laws, everything. And they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of times. And that's right, man. So this cave gorilla has this in his hand. But right now, the Most High is basically br breaking it apart through his, through his prophets. He's, he's, he's bringing the truth out through his prophets. He's making it known the truth. Let's get that. Because this is what Yahweh Ba'a Shem Yahweh is doing right now. Let's get that real quick. So like it's drizzling out here. This is what Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is doing right now, literally. All right, this is 2nd Edris chapter 6, starting off at verse 27. For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. As for, the, as for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome, which is what you see happening right now. Faith is flourishing. Corruption is being overcome through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh And here's the point. And the truth... The truth is on the earth right now, speaking through his prophets. And the truth, with which have been so long without fruit, shall be declared. And the truth is being declared through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, spoken by the mouth of his prophets, man. We, man look, man, we're not doing this on our own will. There's no such thing as free will. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, enlighten the men out here that's feeding you the 144% truth. Okay, to let you know what it is, man. 
okay, to debunk all the lies. Point blank, period, man. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah is out here doing that now, man. So let's keep on going. Shalaki. Let's jump to First uh, Thessalonians. Because these cave gorillas, these cave gorillas truly believe in their heart that they're the most high. These cave gorillas, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, believe that they're God. This is 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 4. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called the Most High, or that is worshipped, so that he is as the Most High, sitteth in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is the Most High. So I already made it clear to you, Salaki. So I already made it clear to you that he, um, in 1 Maccabees chapter 3, verse 48, that he literally took our book, our law, statutes, and, our law, statutes and commandments, our history, our, our, our book, and painted himself in the book. Made, his, made himself up to be the Most High, the Son, the prophets, the angels. Okay? He's done that, man. And, that's, and what does that say in Revelation? Let's get that. Let's get that. This is Revelation 22, starting off at verse 18. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, the Most High shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And that's what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is doing, man. He's literally plaguing Babylon and the whole earth. Okay? Verse 19, Revelation 22, verse 19. And if any man shall take away from the words of this book, Salakia, and if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, the Most High shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. Bada bing, bada boom. Salakia, Israel. So that's, that's what you see, that's what you see happening right now, man. The Most High is bringing plagues upon this place, man. Famine, food shortages, uh, 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 plagues, pestilence, you know? He's, he's literally destroying this place uh, from, the, from the inside inside out, man. You know, he's, he's causing division amongst their own people, okay? And amongst a whole bunch of other things, man. And that's why as prophets, we watch, man, and we, and we uh, foretell everything that's, that's gonna come, and it, and it happens, okay? So let's jump, because like I said, man, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai gave us our heritage. All right, so this is Deuteronomy 32, because we ain't, we're not fucking black. We're not no damn uh, Mexican. And I learned something yesterday from my beloved brothers uh, in Chicago, um, from Benji, Uriah, that uh, it's either Mexican or Mexico goes back to Mashiach. <laughs> goes back to Mashiach. And that was a video that they put up um, Last night, I advise y'all brothers and sisters to watch it, man, because it's all about uh, the so-called um, Mexicans proving the fact that they're Israelites. You know, it was a powerful lesson the brothers put up. But that word Mexico or Mexican goes back to Mashiach. All right, this is Deuteronomy 32, starting off at verse 8. When the Most High divided the nations their inheritance. So the Most High gave the nations their inheritance, who they are. Okay, not Esau Edom, the so-called white man. He's nobody. Okay, when, when you was in the womb, the Most High decided you weren't going to be shit. But just a whooping stick. Just a, a damn abomination. The wicked. That's it. That's your lot, buddy. Then after that, you're going to be destroyed off the earth. Deuteronomy 32, verse 8. When the Most High divided the nations, their inheritance. When the Most High divided, the na divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Because Israel is as the sand of the sea, man. For Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance, man. 
So the Most High gave us our inheritance. The Most High named us the children of Israel, Yasharala. Okay, in the land of uh, 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 Jerusalem, which is Yasharalim. Okay? We are the Israelites, man. We're not black. We're not Latino. We're not native and Seminole Indians, man. We're Israelites. Let's get, man, let's get another fact on it. Let's jump to Jeremiah. Let's get another, let's get another scripture uh, on this, man. All right, this is Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 16. The portion of Jacob is not like them. Do you hear that? The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, all things, everything righteous that's made on this earth, everything that's made to help, help, help life progress in a, in, a, in a righteous path was made by the Israelites. Okay, the washing machine, the car, the, the stoplight, the AC, Etc. The, the infirmament for the light bulb was made by Israel, man. The internet was made by Israelites, man. And furthermore, all that all that was uh, uh, made 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 by Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, just working through his, his chosen people. Okay, because we don't we don't take credit for nothing. We give every all honor and glory to the Father, man. All right, Jeremiah chapter ten verse sixteen. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. Yahweh of hosts is his name. Let's get another one. Let's go to Ecclesiasticus. Salaki. All right, so let's get one more on that, then we're gonna, then we're gonna leave from that. Cause I'm just basically trying to establish to you, Israel. We're not black. We're not uh, 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 African American. All, all these bad words. We're Israelites. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai gives you your nationality, not the goddamn red dragon, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Okay. All right. This is uh, uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 17, verse 17. You know what? We're gonna read down to uh, verse 19. For for in the division of the nations, for in the division of the nations of the whole earth. He set a ruler over every people, but Israel is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah's portion, whom being, whom being his firstborn, he nourisheth with discipline, and giving him the light of his love, doth not forsake him. Therefore, all their works are as the sun before him, and his eyes are continually upon their ways so why do you think we got punished let's matter of fact let's read that as it said it said in the scripture that all our ways are before yahweh bashim yahweh shah's eyes okay so everything that we do he sees okay everything he do everything we do he sees so what does that mean let's get it let's read it let's let this bible talk what does that mean israel amos chapter 3 verse 1 hear this word that i yahweh so like you Amos chapter 3 verse 1, hear this word that Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, have spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth, therefore I will punish you for your iniquities. Man, you don't give a fuck about these other nations, man, but you fucking Israelites want to save the goddamn red dragon. Goddamn Ishmael, goddamn uh, Elam, and they don't give a fuck about you, man. They treat you like shit, man. Got our woman going to the goddamn uh, hair shop in Moab, getting punched in the face, choked out, all that, man. And y'all still go back and get these people y'all money, man. These people don't give a damn about you, but y'all want to save them, man. And the main one y'all want to save is Master. You get what you deserve, man. You get what you deserve, man. May Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai destroy you niggas, man. And you nigger woman, man. All right, let's, let's, um, let's get these last few and we're going to close out because it's raining. I only got about three more. So let's jump to, because this, this is what you're seeing happening right now, man. And, it, and there's nothing you can do to stop this Esau because this is a spiritual temple being built, man. The house of David is literally being raised right before your eyes and you can't do a damn thing about it, you fucking heathen. Ezekiel 37, starting off at verse 9. Then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind. What am I doing? 
I'm prophesying all to the wind right now. But my works are not in vain, man. My works are not in vain. As long as I wake up one person, that's all that matters, man. One person grabs this truth and hold on to it, like vice grips, with their life. Like it's the last thing they're gonna accomplish or the last thing they're gonna have. Cause this is the last thing you're gonna have, man. We ain't out here playing no fucking games with you Israelites, man. And damn sure ain't playing with you heathens, man. We destroy you to the power and spirit of Yahweh Ba'a. Shame Yahweh shot. Then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy son of man, and say to the wind, thus saith Yahweh power, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain that they may live, man. And that's what Yahweh Ba'a, Shame Yahweh Shai has done, man. He's breathed upon uh, 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 the slain, which is the Israelites, man. The ones that's out here vexing, man. The ones that's out here hating this fucking place, man. He's given us the breath of life, man. Giving us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who we are. To come out here and do this work, man. To warn our people. To judge our people. And to tell you fucking heathens you're going into captivity. For all, everything you've done to us. I know you motherfuckers hear me. It's going to happen. He put his... Our father, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, put us in captivity. He put us in slavery. So what do you think he's going to do to you? You ain't exempt. Verse 10. So I prophesied as he, as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood upon their feet, an exceeding great army. An exceeding great army. What did J, well, J, uh, what is his name? J.F. J. Effort Hooker ever say? What is, what is the most, uh, the most, uh, 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 terrifying thing in all America? The unity of Negroes. Okay, so the Most High has blown that breath back into us. We know who we are. We ain't no fucking black people. That word black, it just means negative stuff, man. Okay? We're not no damn African Americans. Leo Scipio Africanus. Americo Vespucia. Those are two so-called white men. I don't descend the simple two so-called white men. And the white man ain't white, he's red and pink. Okay? Which is Esau, Edom. Our fucking enemy. Our fucking brother. That's what you are. You are a brother. Did you know that? This all goes back to the birthright. Let's keep on going. Because this is what's happening right now. This is what's happening right now. This is Baruch chapter 2, starting off at verse 30. For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves, and shall know that I am Yahweh, their power. For I will give them an heart and ears to hear, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity. So how in the fuck is those people in our land us, man? Those people ain't us, they imposters, man. We still in captivity, man. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name and shall return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds, for they shall remember the way of their fathers. We know why we're here. We know what got us here. And there's nothing that you can do about it. It's a wrap, Esau. For they shall remember the way of their fathers which sinned before Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. All right, let's get this last precept and then we're going to close out. Bible getting wet. All right, this is Ezekiel chapter 39, starting off at verse 23. And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity because they trespassed against me, and therefore, Salakia, and trespassed against me, Salakia, let's read up again. Ezekiel 39, verse 23, I'm excited. And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their, for their iniquity because they trespassed against me. Therefore hid I my face from them and gave them into the hand of their enemies. 
so fell they all by the sword. According to their uncleanness and according to their transgressions have I done unto them and hid my face from them. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh power, now will I bring again the captivity of Jacob and have mercy upon the whole house of Israel and will be jealous for my holy name. After that, after that they have borne their shame and all their trespass whereby they have trespassed against me when they dwelt safely in their land and none made them afraid. When I brought them again from the people and gathered them out of their enemies' lands and, 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 and sanctified in them in the sight of many nations, then shall they know that I am Yahweh their power, which caused them to be led into captivity among the heathen. But I have gathered them unto their own land and have left none of them any more there. Neither will I hide my face any more from them, for I have poured out my spirit upon the house of Israel, saith Yahweh power. And that's what you're seeing right now, man. You're seeing the spirit of Yahweh being poured, out, being poured out, out on his people, man. Okay? We have awoken, man. The valley of the dry bones is standing firmly on, that, on their feet. The 144,000 mighty men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the governing body, man. Your future kings and future priests are here. The king is here. Yes, the king is here. Let's close out. Let this king close out real quick, because I know y'all tired of hearing my voice. Get used to it, because you're going into captivity. Psalms 51, starting off at verse 9. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit away from me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit away from me. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, starting off at verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High, and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty, for this is the whole duty of man. For the Most High shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Koholayimla, Abanawa, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakradash. So like I said, we ain't black, we Hebrew Israelites. Nobody's black, nobody's white. And like I just said prior, the king is here. Yeah, the king is here. Get ready for captivity. Shalom, Mahabatham, Yasharalam.